Do eat a lot of fast food, and I drink a lot. They go hand in hand in my world. And I will say this. Sometimes I drink too much, and sometimes I have drunk regret. Wake up in the morning because I blacked out. Wake up. Try to piece your night together. You don't know what you did. It's hazy. You're like, did I text an ex? Did I send a dick pic? I don't know what I did. But numerous times in my 30s, I've woken up hungover and thought to myself, well, hope I didn't email Wendy's corporate again. Because according to my outbox, that has happened eight times. <laughs> I don't love Wendy's, I don't hate Wendy's, but there's one in my neighborhood and they're open late, so when I'm starving at 1.30 in the morning, it's the only option, so I go. But they're terrible at this location. They're rude, they're mean, they always make you wait, even at one o'clock in the morning, and there's always a mistake. So when I scarf down some food and I'm drunk at 2 a.m., I send some emails. <laughs> One time, I started the email, Dear Wendy. I swear to God. <laughs> so a couple months ago, after one particular experience, I took to my local community's Facebook page to air my grievances. Now mind you, 2020 is a bit of a rough year. There's no school. Are sports coming back? People don't have jobs. People are using this community page for real life shit. But at 4.12 in the morning, I had to chime in with this. I'm well aware things are nowhere near normal at the moment and we're all experiencing hardship and inconvenience. However, there's another issue in our community that requires our attention and that is the horrendous customer service and lack of mental capacity of the Wendy staff. <laughs> it's been subpar for years, but like a dominatrix client, I keep going back for more pain. <laughs> Nine times out of 10, there's a mistake, but it's my fault, I guess, because I keep going. I'll be honest, most times I hit the drive through it's late at night, I've had a few drinks, and it makes the encounter somewhat tolerable. But I swung by today, stone sober, and the whole experience was dog shit. <laughs> Post. <laughs> and for the next 72 hours, all hell broke loose on my Facebook page. People were screaming at each other going back and forth, back and forth with comments, yelling, all caps, about Wendy's. <laughs> hundreds of likes, hundreds of comments. One person, a woman, tagged me directly and said, I don't like Wendy's either. I went there too and I also had the runs. <laughs> it's like, what fucking post did you read? I think we have two separate issues going on here. Um, good luck with yours, I'll handle mine. Another woman commented, tagged me directly, and said, fuck you, lady. And that was it. This is my profile picture. My favorite person to comment was a man, tagged me directly, wanted my attention, and he said, fuck you, bully, you're an asshole. Anybody who works at Wendy's is a hero and should be treated as such. Stop being a bully. That one I had an issue with. When everything shut down and things got weird, food service was deemed essential. So are people at Wendy's essential? Yes, I will give you that all day long. Are people at Wendy's heroes <laughs> gonna give you a hard no on that one? <laughs> heroes know the difference between Coke and Sprite. <laughs> heroes have the bravery and the moral integrity to put ketchup packets in the bag. That's a hero.